Welcome to all myself, Professor Deshma Kames, presenting the theory lectures based on the tribology. Having unit number five of the subtopic that is Hertz theory of contact stresses. So, what exactly the contact stresses? Everybody is that known that the stresses developed at the contact area where it is pressed. That is called the contact stresses. And Hertz theory will develop the what kind of the contact stresses are exist at the point of contact that we have to see in this theory lecture. Now, firstly, what is contact stress? When the two bodies having some curved surfaces, that is two that spheres of two cylinder are the flat surfaces of the sphere and the flat surfaces are pressed against each other the point or the line of contact between the two bodies changes to the area of contact as shown in the figure the stress of is called as two bodies in a contact zone that is called as contract stress means what there is existing of the contract stresses to the bodies which will create the exact the point pressure at the point of contact some of the example the contact stress is in induced in a contact zone of wheel and rail cam and follower meeting gear teeth totally contact bearing okay so these are the considerations of your contact stresses once again i am just repeating contact stress is nothing but the one when the two bodies or the surfaces are pressed together at the point of contact then the stress is developed that is called as what contact stress and some example is there the contact stress in induced to the contact zone of wheel and rail or cam and follower meeting gear teeth rowing contact bearings so according to the theory of contact stresses when the two spheres are pressed against each other the maximum contact stress between the surfaces is given by sigma ch is equal to 1.5 p upon pi b square b is equal to 3 pi 3 p upon 4 1 minus v1 square upon e1 plus 4 upon nu v2 square or it divided by e2 upon 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 where sigma ch is equal to maximum contact stress p is equal to force pressing the contact spheres d is the semi width of contact zone r1 and r2 be the radii of the sphere e1 and e2 is the modulus of elasticity of the sphere material in terms of newton per mn square v1 and v2 that is nu1 and nu2 is equal to poisson's ratio of two spheres so This is the case B that is called as semi width of the contact zones should be there. Now the contact stresses of the two cylinders. The according to Hertz theory of the contact when the two spherical or the cylindrical spheres are pressed against each other, the maximum contact between that we are already discuss that is sigma ch is equal to twice p upon pi b l where b is equal to. 4p pi l in bracket 1 minus v1 square or nu1 square plus divided by e1 plus 1 upon v2 square divided by e2 divided by 1 plus r1 upon 1 upon r2 raised to one half. This is under root of case. Where sigma ch is equal to maximum contact stress newton per m square. P is a particular force pressing. The two cylinders together, L is the axial length of the cylinder, P is the semi width of the contact zone, R1 and R2 be the radii of the two cylinders, and E1 and E2 be the modulus of elasticity of cylinder material in terms of newton per mm square. Again, U1 and U2 be the Poisson's ratio of the two cylinder of the material. Look at the diagram. Diagram shows that there is a pictorial presentation of the uh, the contact stresses. We show that one of the cylinder is pressed over the another cylinder. 
which having this much the areas where the sigma ch is acting the contact traces we can say that at the width of the toys b okay the one cylinder having r1 radius and one second having the r2 radius now look at this this is exactly the contact pressure it exists at the this particular areas where the existing of the pressure so figure shows that one cylinder is pressing over the another cylinder and which will be called the exact the point pressure at this particular areas okay where there is a exact contact okay over the uniform pressure and the force exist along the f okay along the length l okay on both side but the at the point of contact we are having the maximum thrust is developed look at this again so this is contact traces at this particular area now this is the particular formula that is sigma ch is equal to twice 3 pi bl b is equal to 4 p upon pi l in bracket 1 minus b nu 1 square upon e1 plus 1 upon e2 square nu 2 square upon e2 upon 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 tends to 1 half means what this is under root case that ch is everybody knows the maximum contact press p is the force pressing the two contact two cylinder together l with the length that is axial length b is the semi width of contact zone r1 and r2 with the radii of the two cylinder e1 and e2 with the modulus of elasticity of the cylinder material in terms of newton per mm square while nu1 and nu2 be the poisson's ratio okay so these are the case to to find out the contact traces